hello. Welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you all decided to join me today. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite skincare products. Now, I did post a video on Tuesday, but I think some of you may have missed it because it was a long weekend when we were honoring our fallen heroes, men and women who have made the supreme sacrifice for our freedom. That was Memorial Day. So I'm going to link that video down below when I did a mini Michael's shopping trip and a pretty big Dollar Tree haul. I know you aren't going to want to miss it, so I will put the link to that video down below. But today it is a video of my favorite skincare products, all of which I found on my own. Only one did I get in a subscription box, but it's so good. I didn't want to pass it up. I wanted to be sure and share it with you. Okay, the first thing I have is a scrubby. I really like this. You get it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and when you use it in the shower, it sort of exfoliates your skin. So I really like this. Grandpa has his. In fact, he has one that's on a stick that he can scrub his back with. So when it after about oh, a month or two, I throw it into the laundry with the towels and wash it and then hang it up to dry. After a couple months, they get kind of grungy and I just throw them away. In the shower, I really like this Bath and Body Works. I use all different kinds. This happens to be warm vanilla sugar. So I get all different kinds. I really like uh, the Bath and Body Work body gels for showering. And then of course, oh, and there goes something else. Uh, I like to get the Ultra Shea body lotion that matches the uh, body gel, but I always run out of the cream faster than I do the gel, but that's okay. I have other lotions that I use. Uh, another thing that I like from Bath and Body Works is their uh, foaming hand uh, soap. This one is French lavender and it has essential oils in it. So uh, this, this is a new one. I haven't opened it yet, but I like uh, their foaming hand soap. And did you know that you can fill these with a little bit of bath gel and so about one third bath gel or maybe one fourth bath gel and then the rest with water and shake it up real good. And it, you'll get foaming soap because it's the type of bottle that makes the foaming uh, soap. So if you get a bath gel that you're not really crazy about, but you wanna uh, use it up, you can use it in a foaming uh, hand soap bottle and use it up that way. Uh, here's one that I have in the kitchen. Really like this one. This is Eucalyptus Mint. I really like the fragrance of this one. This is from Bath and Body Works also. Okay, uh, another thing that I use that I really like, this is a headband, a makeup headband. It has Velcro on either end, and I use this to pull my hair back when I'm doing makeup or when I'm cleansing my face. And it's just great because it's adjustable with the Velcro. And when it gets starts to get dirty, I just hook up the Velcro and throw it into the uh, laundry with the towels. Make sure the Velcro's hooked up and then hang it up to dry. And I got this on Amazon and I think I got like six or eight of them uh, in a package when I ordered them. So if you're interested in getting them, I like it because it's really wide and it pulls your hair back and keeps it out of your face when you're cleansing your face or putting on makeup. So if you're interested in these, get on Amazon and look for, you know, makeup hair bands. This really works nicely uh, 
I've had this package for probably two years and one gets too grungy. I just throw it out and get out a new one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so let's talk about cleansing my face. Just a minute, I gotta pick up that one thing that fell. So when I put on heavy makeup, um, I use a three-step cleansing uh, routine. So the first thing I do is I use Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Now, this is all either Bath and Body Works, which I showed you, uh, Dollar Tree, which um, I'll tell you, or Drugstore or Amazon. So this is Drugstore, okay? Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, wherever they sell Neutrogena. This is a great product. What you do is you take a co two cotton pads and you saturate the co two cotton pads with this product, okay? Then you lay each cotton pad on your eye, closed eye, and just let it sit there for 15 seconds on each eye. And just sort of let it do its magic. It'll start to melt and start to take away, work on the eye makeup. Cause I wear pretty heavy eye makeup when I wear a full face of makeup. So you wanna let it just start to do its magic, okay? Then after 15 seconds, just gently start to wipe away, get your eyebrow makeup off and underneath there and then flip it over and do it again, just gently, gently, gently. And it really does a good job of taking off your eye makeup, okay? Another trick is if when you're putting on your makeup, you know how sometimes, well, this happens to me all the time, you get your eye, make, eye makeup underneath here. Well, what you do is you pour a little bit of this in the cap, all right? Then you can dip a Q-tip into the cap and then just gently go underneath here, okay? But here's the important part. Don't ever dip the tip that you've already used back into the, the cap again. Always use a clean tip to dip back into the cap because you don't want to contaminate the uh, makeup remover that you, uh, with a dirty tip. Always use a clean tip, all right? So a clean tip and then you can do it again and then get another Q-tip, dip it in, do the other eye, use a clean tip, dip it in, do the other eye, okay? Like if, you, if you've blinked and your mascara is down there, like happens to a lot of us, get a clean Q-tip, dip it in, do that. That way, if you haven't dipped a used Q-tip into the uh, cap, you can pour what's left over back into the bottle. Now, if you forget and you've dipped a used Q-tip into the cap, then throw away what's in the cap, rinse it out and put it back on your bottle. Cause you don't want to put contaminate, contaminated makeup remover back into your bottle. I know it's your makeup, but still you don't want to do that. So always use a clean Q-tip tip to dip into the uh, cap if you're doing a makeup uh, correction. Also, it's good if you need to correct your eyebrows, even if you need to correct your lipstick. This stuff is great. Wonderful product, drugstore, Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. Couldn't live without it. Well, I could, but you know what I'm saying. It's great. All right, so that's, that's the first thing I do. Then I take this. This is Clinique Take the Day Off. And this is wonderful too. All right, it looks like this. Now that little thing in there, I got these on Amazon. You get like a hundred, like you're ever gonna use a hundred. Um, but I like these because I don't like to dip my fingers into things. 
but that's what it looks like. It's kind of like, how would I describe this? It's thick. And uh, you just take some out and rub it between your fingers and then smear it all over your face, okay? And just smear it, smear it, smear it, and then take a warm washcloth and wipe it off your face. And this is makeup remover, Take the Day Off by Clinique. Great, great stuff. Takes most of your makeup off, all right? So that's step one of cleansing your face uh, with, with if you have makeup on. The Neutrogena Eye and then take the day off. Now step two is, this is one of my favorite foaming facial cleanser. This is one of my favorite cleansers, drugstore. Take a clean washcloth, warm, give it a couple pumps of this stuff, CeraVe, Cer CeraVe, CeraVe, I think they pronounce it. Um, take a couple pumps, put a couple pumps on your warm washcloth, and then just wash your face, just a regular wash your face, okay? It's soapy, not real soapy, but kind of foamy, okay? Then rinse your face, rinse your face. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you. Remember my purple thing that keeps my hair out of my face, my hand bag? The other thing, and these just happen to be two of the purple ones, I put these on my wrists because I cannot stand water running down my arms. I can't stand that. So I always put one of these on each of my wrists. What are these called? Scruffies, ponytail holders, you know? Obviously I don't have hair long enough to need uh, to put them on ponytails, but I have several sets of these. Get them at Dollar Tree. They don't have to be certain colors. It doesn't matter. It just so happens that these two are lavender and purple. But I put these one on each wrist when I start to cleanse my face, and that keeps the water from running down my arms, all right? So now I've put the soap on, and now I'm going to take a washcloth, and I'm going to rinse off all the soap, okay? And you may want to do some of this action, okay? Again, don't want the water to run down my arms, all right? When I'm done using these, I just put them over a large bottle of something, whatever happens to be around, and let them dry. But I always have two or three sets that um, the next day or that night or the next morning, I have a dry set of these to use, okay? Dollar Tree, all right? So now I have done the makeup remover and I've used a cleanser but I'm not done because it's a three-step cleanse, okay? And you're going, Nona, you've used the makeup remover, you've used a foam cleanser, what the heck, you got the makeup off. Uh-uh, you just think you have. Let me tell you, you have not. There, are sti there is still remnants of makeup on your face and I'll prove it to you. Okay, so now you can take some kind of toner and this is the one that I did get in a subscription box, but I love it so much, I just do not want to let it go by without telling you about it. This is Dr. Brandt uh, Antioxidant Spray Toner, and it's with green tea and aloe, I think. Wait a minute. Green tea and white tea extract, okay? This stuff is great, all right? First of all, it's in a spray bottle. And you can see, can you see that? How much I've used, I've only had it maybe two months, but I can tell you this is on my list when I go to Ulta that I'm going to buy a big bottle of this. This stuff is great. But anyway, take this, spray it onto your uh, cotton pad, which you know you can get at CVS or Dollar Tree or wherever. You spray it on and then clean off your face, okay? When you get done, you look at your cotton pad and I guarantee you, you still have makeup on your face when you get done doing this, okay? You still had makeup on your face. Now your face is truly clean, all right? That's a three-step cleansing method for your face. 
Now, what are you gonna do next? The next thing is, you know, Nona loves her serum. And this is one of my favorite serums. This is Olay Regenerative Serum. This is drugstore. And Olay has several different kinds of serums and some of them are fragrance and some of them are fragrance free. And this is one of my favorites. You just take two, and remember, serum is always the first thing, the first product you put on your face because it has the smallest molecules to penetrate your pores. So, and I have lots of serums, but this is the one that I found myself, didn't get in a subscription box. This is the one, I like this one, and I will use this one once or twice a week or in the morning before I do my makeup. Two or three pumps, rub it between my fingers, put it on my face. All these things that I'm showing you about cleansing and everything, don't forget your neck. Don't forget your neck, okay? Always do your neck, all right? Also, always up, always up, always up, all right? So, after I cleanse my face, the next thing is my serum, and I like the Soleil. And it's not expensive uh, as other serums are. I do have real expensive serums, but those I got in subscription boxes. Okay, uh, let's talk about, okay, here's one. This is kind of funny, unusual, but this is Tom's deodorant long lasting and this is lavender fields. I am a breast cancer survivor. And when I was getting ready to have my breast cancer surgery, the doctor told me to get Tom's uh, deodorant. It is aluminum free. It has all natural uh, ingredients. And I just kept using it. I guess I could use anything now, but I've just continued to use it. It has no aluminum. And um, I've tried other deodorants and they really irritate my underarms. So if you have sensitive underarm skin, I suggest you try this. Um, it comes in several different, uh, I was gonna say flavors, fragrances and it comes unscented, but this is a great one, so try it. Okay, let me move some things around. All right, uh, here's something that I got at Dollar Tree. Now, I am sure that this is not the strongest retinol skin cream there is, 1.7 ounces, okay? But I have found that this does a really nice job after I do my serum. I mix this with a moisturizing cream, and um, I like it. So I do do this, use this, and... Um, so I thought I'd just tell you about it. I like it. Okay, another thing that I like is this e.l.f. Dewy Mist Coconut and Argon Oil. And uh, this coconut infused mist hydrates and boosts glow. And I just, I like it. I, it's almost all gone and I will get more of it. It has a really nice mist to it. See, really nice mist. Does it smell? Yeah, it smells like coconut. So if you don't like uh, fragrance, you wouldn't like this. But I just like it and sometimes um, after I've cleansed my face in the morning, if I'm not gonna put on makeup, I'll spray this on my face. Uh, after I've cleansed it and done the serum and moisturizer, I'll, I'm not sure you can see that. I'll put this on, e.l.f. All right, um, this, this is one of my favorites. Mario Badescu Skin Care, facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. <coughs> Excuse me, love this stuff, have used it for years. You also can get it in pink, and I forget what that's called, and in smaller bottles, okay? And this is just a nice mist, and uh, it also can be used as a setting spray. 
It's with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Just nice stuff to mist your face with. Um, I use it just sometimes like I use that e.l.f. just to spray my face, just to uh, refresh it. In the summertime, keep this in the refrigerator, okay? Then when it's, if you've gotten really overheated, um, spray your face with it. If you work and you have a refrigerator at work, get one of the smaller bottles, keep it in the refrigerator, and after lunch or whatever, just go and spray your face, hold it out, just spray, it has a nice spray to it, and it will refresh your makeup, it'll make you feel refreshed, it's really nice. Keep it in the refrigerator during the summer. Very, very nice, all right? And Ulta, I get this at Ulta, not expensive, all right? So I, Mar Mario Badescu, okay? Really good stuff. I've used this for years. All right. Uh, shave gel. One of my favorite products from Dollar Tree. All right. Now, I like shave gel much better than I like shaving cream because shaving cream gunks up my razor. Shaving gel does not. All right. Plus, I think I get a much closer shave with shaving gel. So I recommend shave gel. This is moisturizing with vitamin E and aloe vera. Oh, I was going to tell you, yes, my nails are cruddy looking. I have crafting nails on. There's still some paint on some of them because I've been crafting all week. Um, this is called Berry Burst. Love it. For a dollar, you cannot beat it. This stuff is great. Another kind I got at Dollar Tree had some uh, little beads in them, like ex uh, exfoliating beads, and I like that. These these don't, but it, this this kind does not. But anyway, um, wet area to be shaved, dispense onto fingers or directly onto the area to be shaved. Gently rub over skin to produce a rich luxurious lather. Now you don't get really that much of a lather, okay? But I'm not looking for lather. Shave, rinse off skin after shaving. This really does a nice job and for a dollar you can't beat it. So um, I highly recommend Dollar Tree Shave Gel. All right, highly recommend it. Been using it for a long time. Now, after you shave your legs with that, if you want your legs to be baby bum, soft and smooth, have I got the deal for you. This is Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm, Hyaluronic Acid, Dry to Extra Dry Skin. This stuff is fantastic. Write this down. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm, Hyaluronic Acid. Just look at that magic. I am telling you, this stuff is fantastic. It's great on your face, it's great on your hands, but you put this on your legs after you've shaved your legs, and I promise you, the next day, you're going to get up and your legs are gonna be so smooth and so soft. It's incredible. You can use it any place on your body, if you have dry skin. It is great. Neutrogena, wherever they sell Neutrogena, just look at, well, it's kind of empty now. It's getting down, I need to go buy some more. But I mean, it just looks like whipped cream. It's wonderful. Highly recommend it. Okay, the last thing is Elf. And it is lip sugar scrub. Now, I have other sugar scrubs that I like, but they all come in these cute little pots, you know, that you gotta dip your finger in, and I'm not one that I don't like to dip fingers, but I will, because I have those little white things. But this one you just rub on, okay? And the reason why I like this is because it comes in like a lipstick thing, 
drugstore, okay, uh, obviously if it's elf, um, and you can put it in your purse and, you know, you can just carry it with you if you're traveling or something. It's real easy. You don't have to think about it. Okay, so that's my last face skincare, not face, skincare product favorites. Hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of fun. Something different. Okay. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you know it's free, and I'd love if you'd do that. Also, I'd love if you'd give me a big thumbs up. That means you liked my video. Comment and share. And stay tuned for my next video. I hope to see you again. And remember, be kind to everyone because there's a lot of crazies out there. Bye.